Oh, what is up, guys? It's Mike and Memo here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And most of all, welcome to episode part, um, episode three, part two, Cape Dun, where we will continue completing the quests. Now, I just came back from the store, my bank account actually, twice. You know, it's not on there yet, and I'm freaking hungry. But um, I will try again after this recording, which is about 30 to 45 minutes, I suppose. But uh, let's finish Cape Dunn nevertheless, because uh, either way, work never stops. Hey you, come here. My goods still haven't arrived. What is it you mercenaries actually do all day? But... Silence! I want you to bring my goods back to me. And you better not come here again before you do. What goods are you waiting for? Three large packages with my name on them. Big, sturdy, wooden crates. You stupid mercenaries let those lousy bandits on the coast steal them. My goods are bound to still be there. Go and get them. J just a moment, Mr. Ukras. Do I look like a freaking mercenary, eh? I'm a, I'm a Hashishin in training, sir. Do you still have the stuff from the captured paladin? Yeah, a bunch of useless junk and a strange chalice. Can I have the chalice? One hundred gold coins. Fine, give me the damn chalice. Sell me the captured paladin's chalice. Here, I can't do anything with it anyway. I think this stuff belongs to you. Well then, give it here. Good. What else do you want? Go on, beat it. What about my reward? Reward? All right, here, take this gold. And now... Beat it! Just beat it! Gotcha, Ukras. Now be very careful, because uh, that will be a moment where he will walk back into the... into the warehouse. And when he does, make sure you don't steal anything. Now keep all the wolf skins that you can find to deliver to one Jens the Hunter and to to give towards one of the orc hunters in Faring. Now Faring will be a long way for this character but um, I will keep them nevertheless just in case because of the fact that uh, I need to estimate the about 20 wolf skins um, about 30 ice wolf skins and a couple of bison skins. I'm not quite sure how many precisely, but it's all quest related, to, you know, one location or another. I have your three bundles of weapons here. Ah, good. That's great. Thanks. Here, I'll pay you for them. No, oh, well, that was nice. I have made the golden goblets disappear. I knew that would appeal to you. Well, you can exchange the golden goblets for lots of gold coin with any merchant. Good. And if you're still looking for a job, go to Ardea. Jack the Tower Guard collected a fat lump of gold from the rebels. I see. Which is uh, about 400 gold pieces. Ah, thank you. That's enough for now. If you need equipment, you know where to find me. Sure do, sir my gold. Still too little to train on.
Now the wolves are about up there. I'll go there in a bit. There should be a cave around here somewhere. Seventeen healing plants. I need about twelve of them, so uh, that the quest is also completed, which is for the uh, Hashishin alchemist. Now, as I said earlier in uh, for the first part, the arena will not be done yet due to the fact that I want my three characters to fight different styles in the arena. You know, my servant of Enos used the used the one-handed and shield. My Servant of Adenos, which was the first playthrough, used a two-handed weapon. Well, at least, ma majority speaking, you know, and this guy will use dual wield one-handed. And since dual, uh, since dual wield one-handed is one of the things that only Hashishin will be able to teach me, I will only compete in the arena if I have trained at least the first dual wield of sorts. Doing sneaking around. Um, just sneaking around. Meet me in the arena if you dare, Milksop. Go to Awoke and tell him that you want to fight. Well, not now. Stop! Not one step further. Don't cause any trouble here. You got it? Got it. Come with me. Let's go. Let's go, Cyrus. How many wolf pelts do I have seen? I need about 12 of them for against the hunter, so that keeps four in my inventory. Well, better four than none. You'll wind up feeding the fish. Whose house is this? Yurik lives here. He is the boss of the city. Don't get any ideas about going through this door without permission. Understand? Very well, I understand. Here it says something about alchemy. Now, I'm not quite sure how my companion will react to me stealing. There's nothing new here. Stop! Some valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? No. You're watching me. Are you blind, sir? You just saw me stealing. Oh well, I'm not gonna complain. Where's the alchemist? I see you. I have never seen you around here. What do you want? What are you doing here? I am the town alchemist, and I'm very busy. Do you belong to the desert people? The Hashishin? Yes, I'm an Hashishin. And someday I will return to the desert. The weather near the coast is just too cold and unpredictable. I need the burning sun under my feet, and the scorching sun on my skin. Can you teach me about alchemy? Do something for me, then I will see what I can do for you. Sell me your potions. Do I look like I would sell my goods to just anyone? You will have to do something for that master of audacity. Master of audacity. I like that title. What do you want? I need a bag of ingredients for my work. Fetch me a dozen healing plants and maybe we can get into business. 
Where can I find healing plants? Look up by the lighthouse. I saw some there yesterday. Here are the healing plants you asked for. Yes, and I can really use them. I bet you do. Thanks, sir. Well, at least I can make now, without regrets, a couple of potions. Let's go, Cyrus. We gotta kill some hungry bastard wolves. Still with me? Good. Alright, so let the wolf hunt begin. Beasts. These damn beasts are everywhere. You shut up. Well, that takes care of that. There. So much for you, filthy beast. Filthy beast indeed. There's still one somewhere alive. Did, did you let yours go, Cyrus? Hmm? Yes, you did. You let it regenerate. What an idiot, Cyrus. What an idiot. Filthy beast, one way to put it. Alright, so let's see if we got any booty up here. Now I need a opening lock capability for that one. Let's go Cyrus. Right, so let's deliver the pelts to our good friend Jens the Hunter. Deliver the news to the leader of the mercenaries about the wolves. And that should be, uh, should be enough to get myself access to the leader of the orcs within Cape Town. Should, not saying that it will, but it should. This should be enough wolf skins. Huh. Rather decent quality. I'm sure they'll fetch a good price. I will teach you how to hunt if you like. Um, Cape Dunn. Why did you wait here? I'm starting to think that uh, it's not going to be enough, but we'll see. I'm sure you have something else to do. Plenty. Sadly, but true. Oh. 
Deckard the Quartermaster is pleased with the potions. Well done. The Alchemist is very happy with you. Not bad. Jens the Hunter says you're useful. The Hungry Wolves are history. You took care of the wolves? Not bad. Here's your pay. No, we do not know if we can trust you. Five merely points. But at least I have some gold. Not much though. Um, so since I cannot do the arena part, and I cannot open the chest yet of the alchemist due to a lack of lock picking skills, I have no choice but to go to Ortega. And I don't think I'm well provisioned enough to deal with Ortega. I don't have the ingredients for that. I miss vials. And the first thing I will learn is uh, requirement weaken. So I need poison in order to do amnesia. Well, that's a bit weird. Let, let me, uh, can I wield the staff if I train it? Uh, 75 damage, 110 strength. Yeah. Oh. Would you teach me how to fight? <clears throat> Carry on like that. That's the way. Good. Carry on. Let's see how much gold I can scrape together. Me. Show me your goods. Now we'll keep the Orc Slayer because in the end this guy will go dual wielded swords since I do not have a better sword yet. Um, I will keep it just in case. Ice protection, I don't really need it. What I do need is gold and lots of it. Right, so let's go to a. Let's sleep first till morning. A transfer disease is one of the things that I do not mind getting, but uh, it's not going to be very useful. Not many. Beasts. Hey. Any other swords here? Beliar. Grant me power over spirit and body. Poison, one thousand gold, and four learning points. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. Missing spell weakened. Grant me power over death and destruction. Wait, what? Requirement weakened. I think that's transfer disease. That Belly. Grant me power over spirit and body. Yep. So, no, not enough gold for a second uh, skill training. Well, at least we have learned the first spell, the belly or magical tree. Not that it will do us much good, but hey.
Osiris, go back. Go back now. You know where to find me. Now, since I'm not well su supplied enough, um, there's no, you know, it's gonna be stupid in order to uh, try to interfere with uh, Ortega and the, the thugs of bandits. Let me get Jack's Rebel Gold. It's about 400. It's not gonna help me much, but. I heard you took gold from the rebels. <clears throat> yes. I think I can trust you with this. They were here and asked me to let them know as soon as I see another ship. I think they're still hopeful that help will come from the sea someday. Give me the rebels' gold. Yes, all right. What's an old sailor to do with that much gold? But promise me you won't squander it. I'm not making any promises, sir. Sometimes you just gotta squander it. What I could do is take care of the Orc Patrol. That will give me, uh, well, the Orc Patrol on the farm. That will give me a bit of gold, about 500. Which should be enough in order to learn the second poison skill. But, um, I will do that later. So, uh, let's go towards Montero. Because Ortega is a bit out of question at the moment. I'm not supplied enough in order to be able to withstand about 15 to 20 bandits.
and I'm thinking about teleporting to uh, Cape Dunn and then use Cyrus as a uh, backup if you will as a uh, ally shall we do that? yeah why not I haven't done that one before so why not Sell me your potions. Fine. Let me see your gold then. Alright, so let's get Cyrus and then uh, we're gonna go into the next episode after checking again if my money is on the bank <laughs> because uh, I do need to eat. Come with me, let's go. Now the only reason why I'm gonna take Cyrus along after all is to use him as a uh, ally to get XP as well as uh, you know have backup. But uh, remember that if he dies, the Ortega quest will semi-fail, you know, it's not that it will fail, fail, but... but I will use him to guide me to uh, Montera, so that we can, you know, kill the critters along the way, kill a couple of bandits, suppose. Um, which I normally don't do, you know, normally I walk all the way around it. But that all depends on whether I'm supplied well enough or not. So let's quickly find a campfire so I can fry some of my meat. So the only two things that I still have to do within Cape Dunn is opening the alchemist chest as well as fighting in the arena. I can't do that one yet even though I'm wielding a staff which is one of the things that I haven't done either but that is for the hardcore run. Because of the hardcore run um, the character will early go of course learn quickly aka magic capa uh, magical capabilities and uh, so I will keep the staff fighting for the hardcore run but um want to thank you guys for watching if you like what you see feel free to subscribe to my channel if you do subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to be notified on whenever I upload you know content and uh, if you want to see a different run of the gothic 3 game all the other two paths has already been completed the rebels Enos and the human orc mercenaries which is Adenos, this one is the Hashishin Balear. But uh, at some point, every game that I upload will be done on all possible options from Gothic to Risen, from Fear to any other game, you know. So, thank you guys for watching. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you do want to see a hardcore run, which will be a live stream only. So, even if it's let's say unlocked within a year. But I'm not able to stream yet, then I can't stream it. So the hardcore runs will be, you know, set aside until I'm capable of streaming once again. But um, in order to get them unlocked at YouTube, because as soon as I can stream, I will stream at least once, uh, once a week, twice a week, depending on how quickly I beat the game, you know. But um, I will make sure to upload them to YouTube and. Uh, should I go live, you know, should I go streaming, I'll make sure there will be a video of it. But if you want to see the hardcore runs on YouTube, make sure, make sure to smash those like buttons. In Gothic's case, 100 likes and you will have the hardcore run of the entire Gothic series. Now, of course, each game counts towards the hardcore run but only one video in each game 
in each path. So in Gothic's case, you know, each Gothic game has about three paths. So one video of each path of Gothic 1, Gothic 2, Gothic 3, Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods, Gothic 4, and Gothic 4 Fall of Satirith. Um, all of those will count towards the hardcore run. So if you do want to see a hardcore run, smash that like button and you will help the community now and in the future to unlock the hardcore runs. Now they're not there yet, so don't worry about it because they will be live streams again only. But they will be uploaded afterwards, nevertheless, towards my YouTube channel on a locked ish idea by, you know, getting a certain amount of likes. The more paths a game has, the more likes it requires. So, you know, games with only one run requires 25. Games with two runs requires 50. Games with three runs requires 100. Games with four, five, etc. require more, more, and more. So let's say in Skyrim's case, if I will eventually upload it, um, the hardcore run of Skyrim will be very expensive when it comes to the likes due to the fact that there are 10 vanilla releases within the game and yes, at some point I will beat them all. The only thing is when that will be, I do not know because I cannot play without mods. Once you go mods, you never go back. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of this playthrough where we're gonna go with Cyrus to a Montera and uh, yeah see you guys then thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next episode